Mars Guy Mission 1 Update. In the previous episode, Mars Guy was checking out the Ingenuity helicopter as it was preparing for its first flight. On Monday, April 19th, 2021, that history making flight happened. Check it out. MassCam Z on Perseverance recorded this video from about 60 meters away. You can see the blades spin up to about 2,500 RPM, but surprisingly, no big dust cloud was generated. Then actuators change the pitch of the blades and it leaps into the thin Martian air, quickly rising to three meters, about 10 feet, where it hovers for precisely five seconds before executing a quarter turn because it can. It hovers for a bit, showing smooth, controlled flight despite a Martian breeze trying to blow it off course, then rapidly descends, shutting down its blades only after its inertial sensors tell them to stop. In recognition of the first powered flight on Mars, NASA has renamed this location Wright Brothers Field, a tribute to their pioneering efforts in powered flight on Earth. So the way to make a helicopter fly in the thin Martian atmosphere, which is only less than 1% of Earth's atmosphere, is to make the helicopter small, light, and really big blades. So this thing weighs four pounds on Earth, but only about the equivalent of a pound and a half in the Mars gravity. And these blades are about four feet long, made out of carbon fiber over foam, foam core. So they're nice and light. And the little solar panel, that generates a few hundred watts over the course of the day that charges up a lithium ion battery so that it can fly for about 90 seconds. And there's one special feature that you can't see underneath the solar panel. And it's a little piece of fabric from the Wright Flyer, the Wright Brothers' first aircraft. A piece of fabric has now been glued to the underside of the solar panel as a tribute to the ingenuity of the Wright Brothers. Mars Guy will be following the future flights of the Ingenuity helicopter. NASA has declared April as the month of ingenuity when up to five flights are planned. This first one was the shortest and easiest. The next one will go up to about five meters, then fly horizontally for about 20 meters before flying back to the same spot and landing. The flights after that will get even more ambitious. So be on the lookout for more exciting firsts in powered flight on Mars.